What's up, you guys? I've been watching a lot of Jenna Marbles. Yeah, she got me addicted too. I got him into well, Jenna, Jenna Marbles. Marbles is great, but Julian is. He likes Julian. Oh my god, get your knee down. This is nasty. We don't. Ew! So, really. I'm... I was, I was about to say Ruby Blame 5. I was like, Ruby Blame 5. So, Ruby Blame 5 is out. And I'm actually recording this first episode on the day it comes out. I know this untimeliness will not exist for long, so be thankful. It's 23 minutes long. Oh boy. Um, some spicy stuff is gonna happen, probably. I hope so. Uh, it looks beautifully animated, at least the trailer. We just watched the Yang short, and that was pretty spicy. Uh, much better than the Blake short, in my opinion. And I watched, well, we watched the Weiss short at uh, RTX, so I just, there's no point in us making a video for that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get to Ruby Volume 5. Can't Hope believe you... it's already here. Yeah, it's already here. We're just gonna go ahead and get into it. It's pretty long. So hopefully a lot of cool stuff happens. This dialogue is not interesting. I don't know how to do words good. Okay, here we go. There, it's at 50. Are you happy? I told you. <laughs> Mistral. Say you, Mistral. It's about time. Nora's just like so done with everyone's shit. Yeah. Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, it's so pretty. It looks like something from a video game, honestly. Airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and, you know, all those people and They're so beautiful! Us. <laughs> we were fine. And Crow's all oh, better. Yeah, He's died. like, I have hey. seen some shit. Hey. <gasps> cute. So They're so cute. Run to Nora, my children. Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. By walking through a stone tunnel. Yeah. Oh, is this when they, like, get there and they're like, hello, there's no one there? Ooh, pretty. Okay, I saw this gif, because, like, Rooster Teeth posted this gif on their Twitter or something. Oh, it's this. So beautiful. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It is. That's oh, my gosh, look at all the weapons! Vendors here will sell you just about I love them. their outfits, though. Whether they should or not. This is interesting. Yeah, this, this is interesting this is animation. New style, choice. animation style. Stay away from Very me. anime. Oh, look, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Is this Weiss? Yeah, I, I think so. I so, hope so. How much farther? Yeah. We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I we don't know just him, right? I haven't been a burden. No, he's just some yeah. dude. You and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. <laughs> what the? Why is this so pretty? Oh, and then they're like, oh, no, we haven't had any problems yet. And then now it's like, oh, we're going to start having some problems. Still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Lake Oh fuck. Oh man. Okay, there's some shit going on. Is he like going or is he just like We're going to help them, right? What? Yeah, he's just gonna be like nah. to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we pick Okay, why is this like I'm sure matured? Like now too. she cares about other people. So, yeah, <laughs> it's great. There's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Ooh, is this gonna be like from the trailer? Sorry, like kid. they get there and then Vice summons and it's like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I want her to be like <laughs> getting off here. <laughs> <laughs> that lake's pretty though. Yeah. Ooh, okay, is this a school and then now it's gonna be abandoned? Because this is from the trailer. Mm. It's so pretty, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like, no one's here! Figure out your life. Unless they just use that audio from something else. Okay, why is Ruby crying? Because they're finally there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> duh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Ren, I love you. Say more stuff, please. Mm. No one's here. Hello? So 
Something is afoot. Hello? Maybe try louder? There doesn't seem to please be don't. anyone here. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Ren, I, I love you. Mm. In session right now. Maybe that's it. Or there, maybe think... there's some evil afoot. Run. Ruby's character Wait, design looks a little different. Like she looks older. Well, yeah, she's she's going through puberty. <laughs> I know. Oh, is this where they have like? Is this where the thumbnail was? Ren looks so good. Oh yeah, that, there's the thumbnail right there. Uh, okay, uh, that happened. Crow, for crying out loud, nearly scared me half to death. Uh, me, why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Cause he's scared. Oh, uh, or... Apologies, I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? <laughs> Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Lionheart looks cool. Nor Valkyrie. Oh, look at her! Look at her little skirt. <laughs> Ren, I love you. At your service. I'm afraid most Leonardo of us da Vinci. Could be away until classes resume. But... What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children already know. I filled them in. Oh you mean your shit! Staff is away. You they were kidnapped. So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? Why is Lionheart so... Okay, is he like... Based off the Cowardly Lion? Is that a, oh, yay! Garbage. Uh, what you happened? Can't let them get away with this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Guys. Blake! <sighs> Everything's gonna be okay. Shit pretty. She's beautiful. Who dis? Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's alright. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. Since when do they have, like, guards? Well, probably since... Shit happened. Yeah. You need better security. It's Ilya. Please, I, I just need to talk. About what? How could you take a fall for them, Ilya? Like, Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight, and they denied knowing anything, and everything we found on your scroll, it talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're hmm. guilty. What's you going on here? I kind of... might not have been enough to lock <laughs> them up, but it's enough to sway the fawn is here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Okay, did, were, did, were we filled in on exactly what happened? Because, like, work, Blake. I don't remember all the details just, about this. <laughs> just leave Menagerie before it's too late. I'm sure. Are they planning something? You're going to have to make me. Oh, yeah. Bitch, uh, get off my dick. I know. <laughs> So it's like Ilya's obviously conflicted. Like, it's her old friend Blake, but then she's like, uh, "I want to be a little evil here." Yeah, I'm nervous. Something's gonna happen to, to Blake's say, parents. All seems mm. very reckless. Probably her dad. And for you, no, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Wasn't the you could just like to talk to Oz and be like, "Hey, Everyone what's up, dude?" Was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces. Saw monsters crawling over the city. At least he's emo. Citizens. He's a little emo right there. <laughs> and then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. 
Mm. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, mm -hmm. and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. That was in the trailer, I think. Yeah. Him that. So many great mm. huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only. But they are like build on a bunch of mountains, so I think that helps a lot. We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. Also, wasn't Watts here? Like, where's Watts? And yeah. On top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. Uh, oh, Raven knows where it is. Where she is. Here. Okay, okay. Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. <laughs> it just makes my editing so much harder. <laughs> so important? Uh, cause she's a maiden! I thought you filled them in. And yeah. Cinder's a maiden! Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> it's like too much fucking talking. Not enough time to drink. Mm -hmm. The four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. Yes. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Well, that's that's actually spring a pretty good security yeah. security measure. What happened to her? But it's getting spicy. She was determined at first, when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. Yeah, she that makes a lot of sense. Ran. They're talking about the spring train, right? Right? Yeah. Everyone. Like, if you just suddenly have all this power and this responsibility, breakdown. like... There's no telling where she could be. If it goes to... I know. A weaker person... At least... Then, like, they're gonna freak out and run away. Idea. Like... Are you serious? Like Raven. Not exactly good news. Raven knows are you where the Spring about? Maiden this is. I think. Incredible news. Yeah. After all these years. Uh, <laughs> with his I did crazy sister. <laughs> Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits, specifically the Brownwind tribe. Raven. Okay, so everyone knows Raven is bad news. Yang's mom. That's right. Like, we need to know more about Raven. We know, like, nothing, dude. Mm -hmm. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. How do they know it was the Spring Maiden? Well, Crow, like, I've got to hand it to you. With these if so few people know about the Maidens, how does, weeks. like, one know, like, okay, guys, this is a Maiden, we gotta, like, capture them? I don't know. That's right. Now, since... You know, maybe you didn't hear me. It was the My Fall Maiden that Cinder is, right? Maiden, and I know yes. where she is. So, we need to go as I'm assuming they possible. know that the Spring is the one that's missing, because they must know where the Summer and, and Winter you didn't hear Maidens me. are. Maybe, or they have, like, spies. Yeah. As soon as possible Who knows? does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Uh, okay, Team Ranger, go. <laughs> very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. And damn the council, we'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! <laughs> Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get spring as far away from here as possible. Ren's like, uh, everyone chill the fuck out. Prize possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched, and I'm not the fighter I used to be. No What's your weapon? Sense, What's your semblance? The students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had used uh, to own her Go get Oscar. <laughs> we need to be positive. Small boy. Where's my small boy? Because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter. Will be lost. We get one shot at this. Okay, that's where that comes and from in the trailer. Now, where's the part from the trailer where he like it's like, it's like choking? 
Probably from Watts, I feel Oz like. Be happy with any of this if you were here. But Oz Perhaps is here. Right. Go get him. He's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? Yeah, like, everyone's forgetting about the them. Of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Mm-hmm. He's so emo. Well, I can't yeah. say He's like, I want to kill them you. evil bitches that killed my girlfriend. That I kissed once and she died. I know you've all traveled a long way. But I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Yeah, they have... They can't, like, communicate worldwide, right? But they can no. communicate, like, locally. Hotspots. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. Does Lionheart know anything about Silver Eyes? Like, is he like, oh shit, they got one of these girls. Or people, I don't... I don't know. Got to work on your improvisational skills. Oh, oh, here, yeah. What was that? That was Watts. I'm like 90% sure, and he's like, dude. Okay, me and David were talking about so playing him, Lionheart, playing both sides. Yeah. You four head back to the house. I need a drink. <laughs> you have. Okay, he needs. Wait, more. is this where he meets Oscar? Uh, they meet Oscar, he like knocks on their door. No, 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 look. Okay. Oh. I think this is the scene. Excuse me. Oh, it is! Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Holy it's... shit, wait! Dude! It's all coming together! That's why he didn't say anything you know, yet. I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shit, you're right, dude. Shut up, I'm getting there. Okay, but well, why are they doing this if it's like, we've already seen this? Because this is when it actually happens. I know, but like, um, just adding in the exact same scene that we've already I'm seen. To tell you. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'd like my, my cane, cane back. back. Small boy, I like you. I cosplayed you. <laughs> Do it! I made that. I made that. It was fucking hard to make, dude. Small boy got an upgrade. He's like, what the fuck? It's a gas station! Yep. Who did- oh! Aren't you a little young to be drinking? Oh, is this where oh, she water. like- It's hot out. <laughs> mm. Sure. <laughs> this is where Are she punches the dude from the trailer. Yeah. Too young to drink? Like you got boobs. Like a regular huntress, and a beauty at that. Oh, he's like I'm good. a drunk Thanks, sex predator. Seriously. That's why she punches him. Not too bulky, not too lean. You're just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. <sighs> Ew! He creepy. Don't touch hair. Oh, don't touch her hair. She'll fucking murder you, bitch. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. She's pissed. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? That was so extra. Classic, like, saloon brawl. Wait, that dude was just down there the entire time, like... On the house. <laughs> He's been driving me crazy. <laughs> it's poison. Oh, shit. What is wrong, child? So, what brings you around these parts? <laughs> she thirsty Thanks. ass hope. No, okay. That was kind of hot. I'm, uh, not, not gonna I'm lie. For someone. <laughs> <laughs> not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Okay, we have like four here. minutes left. Four and a half. Raven, Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. <laughs> this is like classic, like, saloon so, talk to the bartender. Get the info you need from the bartender because he knows everything. <laughs> yeah, girl! Oh, boy. Get it! Hey, girly. Seriously? This 
isn't over? Okay. I heard you're looking for someone. Okay, he are we gonna have like a fight? Is that what's going on? Oh, this is where they meet him. Yee, meet small boy, meet small boy, farm meet boy. small boy. When did it become small boy? I thought it was farm boy. It, you can say either one. It's farm boy, lord and savior. Where's Ruby? Small boy! What? Who, this bitch? Can I help you? Yeah, hi, I'm Ospin. Yeah. Is there a Ruby Rose here? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean to small boy. Well, I'm Ospin. Oh, he's drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Oh. <laughs> I found him. What is going on out there? Can a girl read her comics in peace? Yes. <laughs> Dude, okay. Nice we, tree. That's a nice tree. We need <laughs> Ruby and Oscar to be cute together, and then Ruby's like, <laughs> <"Dear> <laughs> baby. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, Ospin is here. Silver eyes. Did Ospin tell you to say that? Like, oh, he just has memories. He's like, oh, okay. Ospin, hi, I'm Ospin. Goes like, bitch, uh, wait. Well, my name is Oscar Pine. You probably know me as Professor Ospen. Bitch, yes! <laughs> Coach is like. I did it! <laughs> this, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. Pay attention. Dude, it's not Casey Lee Williams! Or is it? Bitch, I don't know. It might be the other girl. Boop. He's like, oh, I gotta deal with these kids. Yay, Oscar's here! It's Ospin! Huh. Oh, yeah, that's Watts' weapon. Yeah. Okay, Adam's working with them. They're chilling. I'm one of those cold water villages. Oh, is that bitch? She's hot! <laughs> Raven. Hell yeah. Uh, Corsic and Fennec or whatever. Oh, I hope she summons that thing this time. Okay, season. they're fighting Hazel. And then they're gonna fight because that's going to happen. Oh, oh shit! Mercury! Mercury! Are they all gonna- Oh! BISH! BISH! Oh! Oh, kill it! That was good... Boy! Boy! Okay, well that was a thing. <laughs> that was crazy. Um... Interesting. Best so... part of the entire show, ever, is Drunk Crow. He's always drunk. Well, no, but that was like, <laughs> like extra drunk. Drunk curl. Okay. Um. Well, that was a thing. Well, okay. Um, that was a lot to take in. Obviously, we saw a little bit of everyone. Weiss is on her way to what we assume is Haven. Mm -hmm. Uh, she cares for other people, which is nice. Yeah, I, I remember when we first you f sh first showed me anything about the show. First thing you showed me was her original trailer, the Weiss trailer. I didn't show you the red trailer first? I don't remember, but you showed me all of their trailers, and I was uh -huh. like, and you were like, who's going to be your favorite? And I was like, I think the 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 white one. Weiss, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I was disappointed when I, like... When you met her When I met her bitch. and dis disliked her for the majority of the first two seasons. Yeah. And um... now I'm starting to like her. I mean, still... Blake is. Blake, so. <laughs> okay, uh, so, and then with Blake, 
they came home from something, they found the scroll, there's information, they're gonna go public, mm -hmm. and then Ilya's like, bitch, don't do it, like... Yeah, I'm really We're afraid. We're kind of friends, but, like, I'm an evil person. So. Yeah, I feel like they're planning to, like, I feel like Blake's parents have been in their way for so long that they're planning to take them out. That um, would make sense, because Blake's and parents... And so I'm really nervous that her dad's gonna, like, get, like, you know... You only care about Gira? Like... No, do, I don't think they're gonna... What about the hot milk? I don't think they're gonna kill her mom. I think it's more likely for them to kill her dad. Well, yeah. Just plot wise, with how him and um, how him and son's relationship is, mm -hmm. I think it makes sense. Makes sense since it they makes don't sense. get. <laughs> it makes sense <laughs> for them to. Put your knee down. It's like taking up the whole third of the screen. Ew. I think it makes sense. I don't want it to, but I feel like, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't want that to happen because he's a cool character. Mm -hmm. um... He's a giant. <laughs> Um, what else is going on? So we were right about Professor Lionheart. That he's playing both sides. Yeah, okay. I think because I was on... That? I don't remember. No, it was yesterday I was on Vitalcast with David, Portal 64. Go check out his channel, his reactions, and go check out Vitalcast. It's cool. We talk about Ruby. Um, and it was either he came up with it or someone... I think it was someone had a comment. I don't remember who it was. I apologize. And they said they think Lionheart is playing both sides and honestly at this point it's like that person probably went to see the fathom event and then left a little spoiler in the chat um because oh, yeah. that's just like too good you know but um i thought we thought i thought we were talking about that at the end of last season or maybe i'm remembering wrong i thought we i talked don't remember about that. i don't think so but so right now it appears he's playing both sides because he was like Turning Crow down like he didn't want to help, mm -hmm. but not saying, like, I won't help. Like, he was kind of, like, on the fence, but not really, because Watts was listening, and Watts was like, your improv's not very good, which means he was like, okay, Crow's showing up, you gotta talk to him, but don't give him really anything yeah. he wants. Wait, so which one is Watts again? He's the guy with the cool mustache. I thought that was Hazel. Hazel's, like, the big burly guy. Oh, and Watts is the tall, skinny guy. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, He was, like, kind of in the... Out yeah, this intro, it, it, I don't remember, but so Lionheart's playing both sides as it appears right now. Um, well, he might be more leaning towards the evil people. Like we talked about that on Vitalcast. Yeah. Um, so the school is just like not there, and the relic is unguarded. I think that's at least partially because Lionheart is like being well, messed with. Unguarded, but at the same time, no one can get to it except for the Spring Maiden. Well, yeah. Wait, which one did he say was the spring one? Knowledge, right? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't Knowledge remember. Don't. <laughs> I'm going to have to Winter was creation. Again. Summer was destruction. Summer was destruction. And then the other two. I don't remember what don't spring know. was, but... Or no, I don't remember what fall was, but spring was knowledge. Uh -huh. For sure. Okay. I'm just kind of clicking through the episode. Um, Haven looks really cool. Yeah, it looks very pretty. Very Blake's parents. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then we finally see the scene where Oscar and Crow meet, and it's like, hi, you're Ozpin, yay. Um, <clears throat> small boy, so mm -hmm. cute. Protect him at all costs. Oh, yeah, oh, this Yang. Scene Yang was great. and the dude. Um, okay, I don't know if they were trying to, but when she was drinking the water like that, that was really sexual. Like, she was like... Thanks for that input. <sighs> Thanks for that input. No, so, click to no, it. Okay, okay. Um, so we also talked about this random dude who shows up at this gas station on Vilecast, and like most people were like, he's probably just some like one-off dude that like makes Yang mad. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna show up again because he was like, oh, I heard you're looking for someone. Ha ha, I'm a little dude. Um, so I think he's gonna show up again. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. Uh, I think the Wi-Fi is dying. Maybe. Yeah. That's after she already drank it. See, it's empty. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> She's all like... Okay, literally... Okay. <laughs> I think it would be way less sexual looking if her boobs weren't, like, as big as they are. Yeah, I, that's that, that's why it was sexual. Like, I don't <laughs> think she can help it. <laughs> um, like, like that's that was the only par problem I had with this entire episode, was, like, she does not look young. Like... Yeah, she looks pretty old. Yeah. Or, I don't know. 
Okay, so a small boy arrives, and they're like, what I the guess fuck you would do still check with her Ruby? ID. Like, Ruby is special. We protect her because she's main protagonist. Yeah. Also, Silver okay, Eyes. So he is main protagonist. I feel like Nora is more and more becoming one of my favorite characters. I mean, she doesn't do much. No, but everything she does is so cute. and so Yeah, like, she's pretty adorable. Ren's my favorite. Protect him. And they're like always together. Like this whole episode, they were like sitting together and sitting together. I'm like, make out already. Right Show me your babies. What? <laughs> um, okay. Jeez. Anyway. So Ruby just wants to read her comics. And Crow's like, boy, you guys are not ready for this. He's like, wait He's for just it. like, ha! He's like, ha, this is great. And Oscar's like, uh, my name's Oscar Pine. And Crow's like, uh, wait for it. And it's like, you might know me by Professor Ozpin. And then he's just like, <laughs> gotcha. And the rest of the people are like, bitch, what? He's like, I did it. And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure he didn't do nothing, but okay. <laughs> um, okay, so then we have the, the opening. The opening. Um, and do you want to just watch it again? No. Nah. No. So we had the so feather. It's a bird. Do you have a button that like skips forward one second? <laughs> no. Um. So it's a bird, a crow, or a raven going to Haven. Um. Symbolism, but I don't really know how to analyze this. Like, is Raven coming after someone? Who knows? Um. Then we have Ruby looking cool and standing there, and then burst into petals. And, and I like this twice. like um this like fuzzy grainy texture look to it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we have Weiss Blake, and they all break into pretty petals, and Yang's looking like badass, and it's like, the color the color scheme is really pretty. It's like the purples and the oranges mm -hmm. and like the soft colors. And see, oh, boop, boop. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Crow's like, I gotta deal with all these fucking kids. And then Oscar's, Oscar's like, like, hey, right. I'll do stuff, and there's Oz Pin. And then we have, yeah, that's Watts, okay, I'm pausing it here. See, that's Watts, remember, he has a cool yeah. mustache. Um, and that's his weapon. It looks like little, like... Tentacles. Dude, Tentacles. you know what that looks like. This is an obscure reference. It look. Do you remember that guy from Hunter x Hunter in the Heavens Arena arc? It was like those three bitches that were, like, fighting Gon and Killua. Oh, he had the tentacles. And he had the, ten the, electric, the electric tentacles. The electric tentacles. And his name is and Watts, which has to do with electricity. So mm -hmm. if his thing is electricity, he has these tentacles, then it's like that dude in Heavens Arena. That's my, <laughs> that's my connection here. Oh, so I think that that shot is sim uh, symbolism for, like, Watts has Lionheart as his puppet. Yeah. Like, if Lionheart on steps out a line... Yeah, on his strings. Like, if Lionheart steps out a line, he's gonna get poked. <laughs> um, then we have Adam and Hazel. They're chilling together. Adam has and this a This is the first time outfit. we've seen Adam in Maya, right? In Maya, yes. Looks good. I like it. He's still, like... Oh, is that a feather? No, it's his horns. He's like a bullfly. Oh, flies. okay. I thought that was a uh, raven feather at a second. I was like, no. ooh, what's that supposed to mean? So they're standing <laughs> together, and th that looked like um, they were in the White Fang um, headquarters. And I want to see Sienna Khan. Sienna Khan isn't in this intro, so I'm wondering what part she plays. I'm still Or was she? Was she that person you said, who is that? They hot. No, is no, no. Her? Sienna Khan was like dark skin. I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. So Sun and Blake are standing at this cool, like, ocean resort. <laughs> It looks really pretty. See, this girl, that's not Sienna Khan. Sienna Khan yeah. was a faunist. I'm assuming this is who it was based off the trailer. She had, she was basically a tiger faunist because you could see little stripes and she had ears. Oh, okay. That's how I imagine it. So, it looks like Cinder and this new character are at this makeshift camp. Sin they look like they're kind of like standing off against each other. I want to know who this character is because they were not in the first episode, but they're in the intro. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to see some spicy stuff there. Dude, like, basically none of the big villains were in the first episode, though. Like, we didn't see Salem or Cinder. No. So that's interesting. Did we see any villains? Uh, we saw... Well, Watts talked. We heard Watts' voice, but and, that was it. Well, they were talking about... And Ilya. People. And Ilya. I count her as a villain. Um, yeah, but not, none of the, like, OP villains. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to know who this girl with Cinder is. She's mm -hmm. pretty hot, too. I like her tattoos. And there's a birdie. And then it's Raven and Yang back to back. So I thought that was interesting. I thought that Yang was going to Haven to yeah. meet up with Ruby and Team Ranger and Crow and everyone. But no, she's going right to find find Raven. 
Well, that's confusing because at the end of Volume 4, she was on the exact same trail that Ranger took towards Haven. Well, so I don't know where she is now. It might not have been the same trail. It might no, just all look the same. It was. It had the same signs, and then they had crossed out one sign with red paint and wrote bandits. And Yang was like, oh, you're in big trouble, young lady. That's basically what it was. So I'm like 99% sure she was going towards Haven and Ruby. Yeah, I don't know. So now I don't know where Yang is. Um, so Ra Yang looks afraid of Raven, or afraid in general, and Raven's like, ha. And also, Raven's so pale. She's basically Snow White. Yeah. And here's Ilya. Uh, she's like worshipping at a White Fang shrine. Yeah. There's a cool painting in the background. Oh, there's Fennec and Corsic and... What, what, what was it in this episode? Like, she betrayed them? Like no, betrayed they them? basically... They betrayed... They betrayed her. Her. Well, they basically said, oh, because they found Il Ilya's scroll, and that's what they were looking at, where they got all the data, and they just basically <laughs> said, oh, it was all on... That was all her stuff. We're very disappointed in her. We're sorry that she sided with Adam. We'll make sure oh. we take care of this and everything. Like I'm so bad. My memory's so bad. I don't think that happened. That didn't happen last episode. That was something that happened in between. Mate, probably. I don't remember. Okay, so here we have... Um, Bang. <laughs> so, Weiss was fighting. Uh, Nora's fighting Hazel. She, like, gets thrown out of the way. And then Ren's like, don't hurt my wife! And he's Waifu. like, rah! Ren is so perfect. Um, Hazel doesn't even have any, like, arm protectors. He's just like, bitch, Blocking nah. Blocking weapon shots. Like, yeah. What the heck? And then we have... Blake and Ilya fighting as predicted, and then Yang is fighting with her new arm and one gauntlet against Mercury, and Mercury looks like a smug bitch here. Yeah, um, that's the first time we see him. Mind, so it's also. like their rematch. I always forget they fought before, and it did not end very well. Um, yeah. So I want to see them fight again. Um, Ruby looks. Oh cool. yeah, that thing triggered me so much. The he, volume three fight. Yeah, when he faked being injured, I was so triggered by that. He wasn't. Well, it was mostly Emerald's fault. He couldn't have done that without Emerald. I know. I'm just saying, I hated that. It triggered me so much. Yeah, it was pet triggering. peeve of mine. Okay, so they're all like fighting in this non specific area, and then they all like line up and they're fighting, and then like, oh shit, Salem exists. And then they're like, go! Do fight you think team! we're gonna get a battle against Salem this season? <sighs> No. Because I'm just wondering if, like, is this going to be another, like, short season? Not short, but, like, where the goal is, like, rather small scale. Like, are they doing that, like, where, like, Volume 1 and then Volume 2 got a little more intense and then Volume 3 was like, oh, shit. Are they going to do that again where it was, like, Volume 4 and Volume 5 they get the Spring Maiden and then Volume 6, then it's everything leading up to the battle against Salem. I don't know where this is going. Because as of now, I do not see a fight against Salem in this season. Yeah, we'll have to see how the pacing is. Because if in the next two, three episodes, they get the Spring Maiden, and then it's like, okay, well, they're building up to something bigger. But if it's drawing out and it takes longer, which is cool because it gives us more time yeah. to have character development and more time with Farm Boy. True. Small Boy. Small Boy. Small um, Hale. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I just... You have to get a sense of pacing within the first few episodes, and then you can kind of guess what it's leading up to. But right now, it's still pretty all over the place. Like, yeah. Oscar just showed up with Ranger, and, like, they're not going after the bandits themselves yet, so we don't know what's going on there. And then Weiss, she's on her way. We don't know when she's going to show up or what's going to happen on her way. Like, we don't know that. Blake is at home and something kind of big, I guess, is about to happen on Menagerie, depending. We'll have to see. Yeah. Um, and then Yang is, like, going somewhere. Like I said, she was le legitimately on the exact same road Ranger took towards Haven. So I don't know where she's going or if she's going straight to Raven. We'll have I to mean, look back at that episode. Raven and her bandits are in the same general big area as Haven. Like, they're on that continent somewhere. And, like, they raided cities and so like we know kind of where they are but not exactly so everything like i feel like a bunch of and loose ends have to be tied up before we can get to something like salem yeah do you have anything else to say i'm pretty tired from talking yeah this video is gonna be so long dude i don't know it was 
It was a really good first episode, I think. And I'm yeah, excited for I like this season. episode. Last season definitely focused a lot more on character development. Um, so I'm really excited to but see what they... But not really. It wasn't that great in character development. No, I just mean, like, there wasn't as... It wasn't as It was less crazy. action, less, less plot. Action. It was just it was one on one time I meant it was character-driven. Character yes. Not necessarily that it was amazing with character development, but it was character-driven. Yeah. I think this okay. season is going to be a lot more plot-driven. I really plot liked driven. Volume 4 for all the run stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I have no shame. Oh, yeah. Volume 4, <laughs> Ren, Nora stuff was just... I hope they don't just, like, never talk about it again. Like, I hope it has serious repercussions. Let's like see. what, him killing like the sem- thing that killed everyone he loved? Yeah, and like, no, 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 no. Like, his semblance. Like, it's yeah. actually gonna be, like, plot point. Okay, John I'm a semblance. maybe, even. John semblance. What about it? Can we know what it is? <laughs> actually, okay, Rooster Teeth think, says I bet, we've already seen it. I bet it makes everyone around him stronger. But that's what it does. Most people are guessing it has something to do with leadership because of Joan of Arc. Exactly. I think I think what it does is his semblance. Basically, it helps everyone to work better, more cohesively. And so those scenes we saw where he was telling people what to do, mm-hmm. I think that's what they mean when we've already seen it. Just they didn't have special effects in there to be like, oh, hey, his semblance is doing that. Yeah, like, maybe it's more passive and less evident I like think, crow semblance. I think, crow semblance is like always there. Yeah. And we don't we don't see anything happen with it. Isn't that game like what's called Overwatch? Isn't Overwatch? Like, when there's like support characters and then there's yeah. like attack characters and like different stuff. I don't know. I've never played it but I think he has like a support semblance but like a really good one. That would make sense. Like he allows you to have team up moves and power moves. <laughs> it's a power play. Combo! <laughs> anyway... We've been actually filming a lot, and I haven't filmed anything for a while, and this is, like, a lot taxing on my soul. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. We actually talked a lot at the end. We've been talking for, like, almost 20 minutes about this episode. Yeah. So this video is going to be pretty long. <laughs> but anyway, I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, what else? Subscribe. No, I don't do that. Hit that like button. No! Commit a hate crime Ignore against him. that like button. Oh god, I'm so pale. Ugh, turn that down. Ignore him. Commit, Get out. Commit a hate crime on that like button. Okay, you know what? Go be a paintbrush. Okay, my battery's dying. I'll see y'all later. Bye!